everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, somebody asked me, could I make them a card for their mother? The dealing with a farm. So this is what I came up with. It says, I think you're awesome. You're like no other mother. And then we open it up. And we have a barn with some animals and this says I love moo and then I did a fence up here with the you can see that with the wheelbarrow and some flowers in the wheelbarrow but the other cool thing is let's see if you can see this we can slide our barn doors open inside there's hay with I did hay with two eggs on it isn't that cute so we're gonna make this exact same card today so let's head over to design space and we'll get started and I'll see you there <music> Okay guys, now that we're here in design space, let's go to shapes and get a square. We're going to make that square 4.25 by 10. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 0.75. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.367 and then the Y at 4.471. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. Then we're going to go up to operation and change it to a basic cut line. Then we're going to place the X at 1.353 and then the Y at 4.885. Then we're going to right click, duplicate it again. We're going to adjust that cut line to 0 0.422. We're going to rotate it back to 0. We're going to place the X at 1.375 and then the Y at 4.463. Then let's duplicate it. We're going to place the X at 2.103 and then the Y at 4.463. Then what I want you to do is hold your shift key down and then grab that box we just made and then go up to the top and click on group then I want you to right click duplicate we're gonna place that X at 4.119 and then the Y at 4.463 then let's go to shapes we're gonna get a cut line we're going to make that cut line 0 0.488. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.74 and then the Y at 4.788. Then I want you to right click, duplicate, and we're going to place that cut line at 3 and then the Y at 5.215. Then I want you to right click, duplicate that cut line. We're going to rotate it 187.67 degrees. We're going to adjust it to 0.399. We're going to place the X at 3.491 and then the Y at 4.815. Then let's right click, duplicate. And adjust that to 0 0.477. We're going to rotate it 3. 1.1 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.992 and the Y at 4.809. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to adjust that line to 0 0.399. We're going to rotate it 7.67 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.691 and then the Y at 4.793. Let's go to shapes and we're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 0 0.344. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.213 and the Y at 4.788. Then we're going to duplicate that score line and we're going to bring it down to the bottom right here. 
we're going to place the X at 2.74 and then the Y at 5.215. Then let's grab all three of those boxes we just did and group them together. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. Then once we duplicate it, we're going to go up to the top and flip, flip horizontal. And then flip, flip vertical. And then it will go be going the exact way that we need this bottom piece to be going. So then we're going to place the X at 1.353 and then the Y at 6.788. Let's grab it all and go down to the bottom and hit attach. Then I want you to go up to the top and rotate it 90 degrees. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 4.25 in height. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the first one at a half an inch and the Y at zero. Then the next one we're going to place at 1. Then the next one we'll place at 4. 4.5. Four 5. 5.5. Five and, and your Y will be at 0 for all of them. Then we're going to duplicate it and put it at 6. And your Y at 0. Then 9. And then 9.5. Then we're going to grab it all and hit attach. Let's finish. Now on these pieces down here, this back piece is the only piece you're going to need if you don't want to do the two pretty pieces on top. You will have to have two of these gold sheets which are four and a quarter by five and a half red it is 4.076 by 5.312 the pink it is 3.85 by 5.033 then you can grab those all and go up to the top and hit align center and then group and then you can right click duplicate and these are the pieces we'll need to make our card and our card base. Now we can move these pieces aside. Now let's go to shapes. We're going to get a triangle. We're going to make that triangle 4.972 by 1.426. We're going to place the X at 2.799 and the Y at 1.827. Then let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square a 2 by 2 square. We're going to rotate it 30.38 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.319. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate it 329.62 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.667 and then the Y at 1. Then I want you to grab one end and the triangle and hit slice and then do the same thing to the other end. And then what we should have left is this piece. We're going to take that red triangle we just made. We're going to make sure it's 4.198 by 1.426. We're going to place the X at 1.718 and the Y at 1.014. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 1.7 by 0 0.3. We're going to rotate it 300 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.028 and the Y at 2.154. Then let's duplicate that. We're going to rotate it 60 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.446 and the Y at 2.112. Then let's go to shapes. Let's get a square. We're going to make it 5.3 by 3.7. We're going to place the X at 1.14 and the Y at 3.465. Then let's go to shapes again. We're going to get another square. We're going to make it 1.557 by 4.007. We're going to rotate it 89.71 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.871. And we're going to place the Y 
at 2.422. Then let's go to shapes again. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.787 by 1.745. We're going to rotate it 24.69 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.168 and the Y at 2.522. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate this square 3.35.31 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.972 and the Y at 2.48. Then I want you to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and let's click on Weld. And then we should have our barn here. Let's go to Shapes. Let's get a square. Let's make that 1.978 by 0 0.319. We're going to rotate it 300. 89 degrees. We're going to place the X on 1.877 and the Y on 1.039. Then let's go to shapes. Let's get a square again. We're going to make it 2.8 by 0 0.3. We're going to rotate it 329.76 degrees. We're going to place the X on 2.263 and then the Y on 0 0.007. Then let's grab them both and go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we should have this piece here. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to place the X on 3.085 and then the Y on 2.007. Then let's go get a square and it should already be 2 by 2. We're going to rotate it 32.06 degrees. We're going to place the X on 1.588 and then the Y on 1.611. Then I want you to grab both of them and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. And then we should have a piece that looks like this. Then with the piece we just made, we're going to make sure it's 2.956 by 2.893. We're going to rotate it 0 0.54 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 1.064. Then let's right click, duplicate, flip, flip horizontal. We're just going to adjust this a little to 359.79 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.855 and then your Y at 1.07. Then let's go to shapes. Let's get a triangle. We're going to make that triangle 0 0.628 by 0 0.216. We're going to place the X at 3.605 and then the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab it all and then go down to the bottom and we're going to hit weld. And then we have the piece that goes on top of our barn or the white decorative piece like so. Now I want you to adjust this piece to 3.964 by 1.86 and then we can move this aside. And then our barn, I want to adjust it to 3.766 by 3.874. And then I want you to right click, duplicate, and this is going to be our back piece. Now we're going to put our barn on one for the X and the Y and then I want you to go to shapes and I want you to go ahead and get you a square and I want you to make that square 0 0.901 by 1.285 I want you to place the X at 2.456 and then the Y at 3.439 then what we can do is grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on attach and that will cut our hole for our door. You can just group these together and move them aside. Go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 0 0.986 by 1.458. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 1.694. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that square to 0 0.222 by 0 0.611. You're going to place the X at 1.097 and the Y at 1.125. Then we're going to duplicate that. 
and you're going to place the X at 1.639 and then the Y at 1.125. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.972 by 0 0.167. We're going to rotate it so it's 90 degrees. You're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab it all and then we're going to hit weld. Then let's move this piece aside and let's go to shapes. Let's get a triangle. We're going to make that triangle 1 by 0 0.358. We're going to rotate it 88.81 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.468 and the Y at 1.405. Then we're going to duplicate it, then we're going to go up to the top, hit flip, flip horizontal, then we're going to place the X at 1.94 and then the Y at 1.405. Then let's right click, duplicate, we're going to make that triangle 0 0.7 by 0 0.513, we're going to rotate it back to 0, we're going to place the X at 1.532 and the Y at 1.986. Then we're going to right click, duplicate, we're going to go up to flip and flip vertical, place our X at 1.532 and then the Y at 1.278. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld. First let's go to shapes, we're going to get a square, we're going to make that square 0 0.986 by 1.458, we're going to place the X and the Y at 1. Then we're going to take our triangles and we're going to adjust those to 0 0.769 by 0 0.588. We're going to place the X at 1.108 and then the Y at 1.075. Then we're going to right click, duplicate, and we're going to place the X at 1.108 and then the Y at 1.797. Then let's take one of these sets of triangles, let's right click, duplicate, and we're going to set this aside. Then we can click on both of the triangles and then go down to the bottom and click on weld. Then let's highlight it all and then go and hit slice. And then we'll have this piece here. And that's for your barn door and if you want it white. It goes on top like so. Let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 1.222 by 1.222. And then let's go ahead and right click, duplicate, and set that square aside. Then we're going to take those triangles and we're going to adjust it to 1.06 by 1.027. And we're going to grab the triangles and go down to the bottom and click on weld. Then let's highlight them both again and then go down to the bottom and click on slice. It goes on top and then you can make your top barn door. Now for this piece here, what we can do is go to shapes. We can get a square. We can make that square 3.221 by 0 0.305. And we're going to place the X and the Y on 1. Then we're going to go to shapes, we're going to get a score line, we're going to change that score line to a basic cut line, we're going to make it 1.456, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, we're going to place the X on 1.111 and the Y on 1.104. Then we're going to duplicate it and we're going to place that one on 2.636 and the Y on 1.104. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 2.636 and the Y at 1.198. Then duplicate it one more time and we're going to place the X at 1.111 and the Y at 1.198. Then we're going to grab it all and hit attach. And this is what our barn doors go on and it goes right there. Now I just want to make sure we have the same size for this. So it should be 3.596 by 0 0.305 or both of these pieces should be 0 
0.835 by 2.363. And then also for our piece that will be in the barn, if you choose to put something in the barn, I found it best if your item fits nicely inside where you can see it. If you can fit it inside of a 1.675 by 1.675 square. So let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.25 by 6. These pieces here are to stand your animals up and it just depends how many items or whatever you're going to put in your uh, field of your barn um, how many of these you will need. These three pieces here they are not needed for the card but I wanted to put them up here because these are some of the things that I use to create my card so now what we can do is save and name our project and you can add any additional pieces that you would like to add to your card and then we can go ahead and get them cut out and then I'll meet you back at the craft table I'll see you there Okay, now that we're at the table, what we can do is get this piece with our cuts and our score lines in it. And right here where these two tabs are, what we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and mountain fold that score line. And on this card for today, we don't need this back piece, so let's just snip it off. And then we're going to do the same thing to this back score line too. And then we're going to snip the one furthest away from us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to valley fold the middle one here. Then what we're going to do, you can use tape or glue. And in this section here, the one closest to this tab, we're going to put down tape or glue and then what we're going to do is fold this towards us and adhere it to the other side like so now we have tape in here if you did tape you just need to make sure you get rid of that and clean it up so it doesn't stick to anything. Then we should have something looking like this. Now what we're gonna do is fold it back where it's on the back side. And if you have a trimmer or you can just use your uh, scissors, we're just gonna snip off just the edge of our score line so it's not closed anymore. That's how much I cut off. And if you're just a little bit more, a little less, that's okay. Then what we can do is open this up. And work our score lines that we had there previously. And so we should have something that looks like this. Now we have a stage. Then what we can do is score our two score lines at the end. So on each side it should be mountain, mountain and looking like this. Okay. So now we can get tape and put tape, or you can use glue, on each of these tabs here. Now let's get our two other pieces 
that's our card base and the reason why we have two separate pieces is because when we open our card we want it to be able to lay flat and if we use a regular folded card it would not lay flat it would end up kind of raising up a little so we can take one side off and we're just going to line this up as straight as possible and do this side so now we should have something looking like this so now what we can do is put on each end tab down here put tape down So to make sure this is lining up right, I want you to fold it back and then fold back on not this first score line, but the second score line. So I don't want you to fold it like this, fold it like that, and then lay it flat. And then we're gonna take the tape off and bring this to us so everything lays flat. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Fold it down, fold on the second score line, Now we can get our barn and our barn doors. You'll need this piece also. So this with the hole in it is gonna be the front of the barn. And then I'm gonna glue my piece on to my barn up here. Now this piece here what we're going to do is just weave this edge through our slit so if you lift this up right here you can see how that is where I have my finger through it we'll just slide this through okay and then we're gonna take this so you're just gonna take it and fold it in half and then it'll fold down to the top of your barn door. So we're gonna put a little glue on our tab. Like so. And then we're gonna just glue it to the top of our barn door. And it should move around very nicely. We're going to do the same thing with this side. This piece here, it lines up right from here to here. Okay, so we'll put glue very little. Not on the center, but on the outer side of this. And be very careful we don't get it anywhere else. Okay. And there we have it. And we have two barn doors that can open. Isn't that cute? Now what we can do is if you did something to put in the center, I'm gonna do hay. So what we can do is on this, whichever way is your front, don't forget that, we can put a little glue on this tab here. And this is where 
your first piece is going to go. So mine looks like that. And you're not gonna see the back piece, so I did it so it would face. So we'll put a little glue on the back of this. So we have glue on it. You want to line your piece up in front of the tab. Like so. And then press it forward. And what we can do is put a little glue up here. The top. Oh boy. And then we can bring this forward. And there we have it. So for our barn, what we can do is push our tabs up. And we'll just line our barn up against our tabs here. Put a little glue on it and then push it down. Okay. And this is our back part of the barn. Push our tabs up, line our barn up. So it's about even on each side. And then just push your tabs forward. And if you wanted to do a weather vane or put some decoration on top of your barn, you want to do that now. I didn't do one, but before I put this piece on, I want to do my top window. And then we're going to do the same thing. Push these tabs forward. Like so. And then we're going to bump the front of our barn. Like this up to our tabs. Put a little glue on it and then adhere it to the barn. So we'll put a little glue here. There you have it. So I just took a scrap piece of paper here. Um, it's about six inches long and it's about a quarter inch wide and I'm gonna fold it in half and then glue it together. You can line your animals or whatever you choose to put on your card anywhere on here. So like if you wanted the chicken here on the fence you could just put the chicken like so and it wouldn't interfere with anything or against the barn but I want the chicken to stand up out in the middle of the yard so that's what this is gonna be used for so what you can do is just take a cutter decide where you want it just make sure it's not going you like putting it here like his arm would be sticking out so that would not be a good place for him so we need to move it in some more so I think I'm gonna put him about right there so we're just going to cut a little slit, enough to let your quarter inch piece can go through it. So that goes through it. Now what we're going to do is make like an L. So I'm going to fold about that much 
like an L shape. And this is going to be our foot. So then we can put a little tape on it. Once we have that, we'll take it off. And then we're just going to slide it through the hole. And then once we get it through the hole, you can see it there. I'm just going to fold it so it's back like an L again. And adhere it to the bottom of our card base. So we have a stand there. And that's what it's looking like on the inside. Now what we can do is take our animal or whatever you're using and I cut that perfectly I don't have to cut anything off but if you need to cut some of this off you would snip it off like let's see if I was going to use the pig here I wouldn't want this white piece showing so I just snip it off But I'm going to put the chicken on it. And it hides everything perfectly. So I'm just going to put a little glue on my piece here. Glue on there. And then I'm just going to take my chicken. Line him up where I want it. closes right up. Isn't that cool? There's the little chicken. Now we can do the same with the rest of our other pieces. Okay guys, so this is the finished product, which we did the exact same thing as my beginning card. The cow and the fence and the little hay up here. And of course, we know our doors can open so cute cow back here speaking of cow what did the mama cow say to the baby cow it's pasture bedtime <laughs> and then of course on the back we have a place to write a message and I just did another cow here with some flowers and that's it guys I just want to say thank you so 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 much for stopping by and crafting with me don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping.